like it requires practice. It's, you can't just go in there blind. You're not gonna do well. You're not gonna get in. It's something you need to study for like earlier, much earlier. Exactly. See. Hi guys, how are you? This is Bobby again, the CEO of Bobby Terry Curing Centers. As you guys all know, I keep coming in with a lot of successful stories. So today, I'm with one of my students, Abdullah Mohammed. He, said, well, he actually got into one of the prominent highest ranking specialized high schools, his, uh, York High School of Science, in uh, located in Jamaica, correct? Yep. So his, uh, his score was uh, 526 in 2025, which was very hard and challenging to do. You guys know that, okay? The completion process was so strict and hard in 2025. So we would like to know how Abdullah made it and also what was his study mode? That's the main intention. Like, how did he study? So we can share it with you so our future generation can follow his footsteps. So Abdullah, go ahead. How did you study and how you feel, by the way? Well... At first, I wasn't happy because like I didn't get into Stuyvesant, but then I did a little bit of research and found out that York was well ranked higher, according to U.S. News, and offered a lot of other programs that I really liked. And in the beginning, I would do like one test each week before I went to Bobby's, and then after going to Bobby's, he taught me. Uh, like a lot of tips and tricks to help me like finish faster for the ELA, like circle therapy, and he assigned us a lot of work to do. So really, I did all of that. It was the like, five tests a week, correct? Five tests a week, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that helped me a lot. But the thing <clears throat> is, like, it requires practice. It's, you can't just go in there blind. You're not gonna do well. You're not gonna get in. It's something you need to study for like earlier, much earlier. Exactly. You see, it's coming out of his heart that okay, of course, practice. You guys do understand. So he joined our Bobby Turing Turing Center at the end because at the beginning I thought he probably wouldn't make it because the time was short, okay? But this guy had a mentality. And, and, and the mentality means like I meant a motivation and discipline, okay? I mean, he really wanted it. He came to me like, Bobby, I really want to get in. So is his parents. They were very motivated too. So what, what happened? Okay, I was giving them um, half a test at the beginning, like around September. And then in the month of October, about a, a test a day. Like, uh, because the test was at the end of October, beginning of November, so I was giving them a test a day, so pretty much like five tests a week. Uh, they build up the stamina they go that way, so they were able to do this like about two and a half hours to three hours of practice every day. That's how he pulled up below 400 to 526 within one frame of, I think, less than two months, correct? Yep. So, so that was possible because you see, that when he was telling, they're coming out of his heart, like, okay, you need to practice, you cannot just go there and then think, okay, I know it. No, this is not a knowledge test. It is more like a 35% knowledge and 65% is a stamina, psychological test, mentality. So you, then you have to be able to prevent some silly mistakes. That requires practice, like literally a lot of practice to be able to improve your focus. <coughs> so Abdullah, so now that you are so happy that it is one of the highest ranking school in New York City, so by US News. So, uh, so what exactly intrigued you? What are you really uh, going to study in future and, the, and the how this your specialized high school will help you? Well, it's going to help me because they offer AP Physics and they don't have business classes, but well, I can take uh, AP statistics, uh, statistics and Math. They look kind of similar to business if you ask me, because then that's going to help me hopefully in college because I want to either get to Columbia or Harvard, which both have amazing physics and business programs, which is what I want to major in. Physics and business. Yeah. Look, you have to really admire this boy. I mean, come on. He's only in eighth grade, right? In eighth grade. When you ask this question, even a tenth grade or eleventh grade, and sometimes nowadays they don't know what they're going to do in future. They're like, okay, I don't know. I don't think about it. This boy did his personal sketching, little homework at home. That, okay, where I want to be in, in in future. His parents are very motivating. That actually has been an influence a little bit. So he wants to go to Harvard and Columbia when he knows when he's in eighth grade. Not only that, when I asked him, what do you want to do? He literally specifically said physics and business. He could have said engineer, he could have said doctor, he could have said something general answer, but he didn't give me a general answer, he gave me a specific answer, which is a physics and uh, business, correct? Yep. So, so, he, so what is that telling you? You need research. He researched it. You need ambition. He had it. And you need practice. means action into motion. All right, guys, so I hope he, be, he pursues his career and then become a successful person in the land of the United States. 
and uh, let's uh, let's hope God gives him that opportunity, and that uh, you know we'll come back with more successful news. Until then, bye bye.